So today we're going to show you how to do some simple but effective keyboard shortcuts that should work in just about any program. Uh, the point of these shortcuts is to perform an action with a quick combo of keys that would usually require going through a menu. Uh, menus usually give you a hint as to what these shortcuts are, so if you ever forget what, how to do the shortcut, you can always double check up in the menu. Uh, most computer shortcuts make use of the control key. Uh, you've got two of them, one on the left, one on the right. Right, so let's go for a simple one. Sometimes you might want to quickly open up a new blank window, such as when you've just closed out your last document, or maybe you want a brand new web browser window, so you can do two things at the same time. Uh, the shortcut for making a new blank window is Control N. So to do this one, first hold down the Control key. You can use either the one on the left or the right. And don't worry, the control key doesn't do anything by itself. You can hold it down all day and nothing will happen. All it does is it lets the computer know that the key you press down with is meant to be a shortcut, not a letter. Okay, so hold down control and then tap N. A new window should open up over the top of the one you had uh, open previously. You can do this with one hand or if that's difficult, you know, use two hands. One quick tip. Uh, control you can hold down all day, won't do anything. The letter you just want to tap. If you hold that down you might end up telling the computer you want to do it, that shortcut many many times and you'll end up with a lot of extra windows which might, you know, might be confusing. Once you've tried that out a few times and got the hang of it, why not try a few others? Uh, check out the next video for more shortcuts or look down in the description for a link to a page you can print that has more handy shortcuts. Uh, thanks for watching.